guys, welcome back to That Simple Life with the Devore Wild Fam. I am taking you to Winco to show you the bulk section. So we have pretty much cleaned out our snacks. Um, by cleaning out, I mean we ate most of them. Some of them I had to toss that I had put them into Ziploc baggies and the kids didn't close them right. Looks like they ate some of them and got full and put them back and they were stale. So I threw away like four little baggies, nothing major. But I'm going to take you there and I'm just going to show you everything they ha everything that they have at our Winco and then I'm going to get a few things and I'll show you that as well.
We are back and this is what I got from the bulk section. I didn't get as much as last time because honestly I just don't have the energy to bag it all. Um, but I spent, I think it was $13.73 on everything you see here. Um, I would have to like buy these things outside of the bulk bin. And plus I was kind of in a hurry so I didn't weigh anything. So I'm not sure if it would be cheaper to buy Oreos just in the package, it might be. I believe these were 39 cents. I have to look at my receipt. Um, these were 25 cents. And I think those were, no, these were 49, no, these were 49 cents, I think, and these were 39. I don't know how to look, but in total, everything was about $13. So we have some Fruit Loops, some more candy corn, some Goldfish Crackers, um, actually, I think this was cheaper than buying the big box. I think it was about a dollar cheaper. Would have been more effective, guys, if I had weighed things, but sometimes I can't do stuff like that because I had to get home and cook dinner. <laughs> um, I just got these fun little Oreos for them to put in their lunches. Kennedy has a field trip tomorrow, so I thought this would be fun to pack in her lunch. Um, these are the pretzel filled, or the peanut butter filled pretzels. So the kids really like these. Um, some of the Chex Party Mix, and I believe this is actually cheaper this way. I think this only came out to two something, maybe not even that. I really need to look at my receipt. And then these little breakfast cookies, they had double chocolate and oatmeal raisin. I just thought, especially for the teenagers, Allie's bus now comes at 6.30 in the morning to take her to her new school. So. These might be good for her to grab. And then like the Fruit Loops, I like to bag these up um, so they can eat it as a snack. Also, there's only two kids that like these with milk, but that is what I purchased. Okay, so yeah, the Oreo cookies for 10 of those, there's two in those little packs that came out to um, $2.90. So I believe it's a, like a dollar more to buy the whole big pack of Oreos, so that would be cheaper to not buy them like that in the bulk bin. And then, oh, where did I see it? The, the little shortbread cookies were $2.34 a cookie, and I believe that is cheaper. I think they sell those in the big boxes, and it's like seven bucks, I wanna say. But all in all, it was fun to show you guys. I hope I did it slow enough. I tried to get, excuse you, Jack. You're not supposed to be on the table. So yeah, don't do not do this. This was one of those, uh, what do you call it, where you just see something and it looks cute and you're like, oh, I have to get it. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Um, I think these were probably a good deal though. And I think the rest of the stuff I got a pretty good deal on. What do you think, Jack? You think it's a good deal? Hmm, what do you think? There's Binks. Think he wants inside? Where's Oliver? So I'm gonna bag this stuff up and put it away and put the cereal away. And then I cooked up, actually I didn't, I can't take credit. Adam cooked up some ground beef. We were gonna make enchiladas tonight. So, <coughs> funny story. On Sunday, Saturday night, Adam pulled out a pork butt to um, smoke on the barbecue. So we were supposed to have that like pork sandwiches for our Sunday night dinner with baked potatoes and salad. Well, <laughs> Sunday night ended up being a whatever night because the roast took, he put it on at what time? What time did you put it on? Nine in the morning. He put it on at nine in the morning and it wasn't done until 11 o'clock <laughs> Sunday night. So we ended up having a whatever night. But I had planned on cooking um, enchiladas, beef enchiladas, for last night's dinner so we ended up eating the pork pork butt sandwiches last night for Monday night today's Tuesday and then I was gonna make the enchiladas tonight I had to cook the meat so Adam cooked it but we still have so much of the pork butt left because it was a big roast that we were having that again for dinner tonight because it's so good I don't want it to get thrown out I want it to get eaten and then I'll make the enchiladas tomorrow but at least the meats already cooked I just got to throw it in the casserole dish with the tortillas and cheese and sauce and dinner will be done tomorrow night. 
I don't know, like every time I talk to you guys, I'm like out of breath. Real life. So that's that story. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I hope you guys liked the Winkle bulk section. I know people get really fancy there and they bring their glass jars and they weigh things and they weigh the jar before they get the the um, food or whatever they're getting so that they have the exact amount. Um, I've always wanted to be one of those people. I am not. <laughs> Maybe when I don't have a gazillion kids, maybe I will be one of those people. I'm just not that organized. Like I said, I didn't even weigh anything. <laughs> By the time I finished filming everything, I'm like, crap, we gotta go. All right, I will see you guys next time. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a Winco in your town. And if you do, if your bulk section is as big as ours, I'd love to know. And if you don't have a Winco, let me know where you do the majority of your grocery shopping. Winco is where we do the majority of ours. Winco, Sam's Club and a Costco. Once in a while I shop at Walmart if I'm in a hurry just because it's across the street. Alright guys, chicken tendies, bye.